That's not six feet under. Stop! I am a good zombie. Congratulations on the film, firstly. I watched it last night. I had so much fun. Maybe not as much fun as you guys at the premiere <laughs> in New York. Uh, you looked fabulous, both of you. And uh, now, Doug, I want to start with you as the Hocus Pocus OG. What does it mean <laughs> to be bringing Billy Butcherson back? Oh, it, uh, it, it, it means so much to me to be able to revisit a character that I loved so much and has become beloved from what, what, from what the audience has been telling me over the years. Uh, so uh, I've been asked in many interviews before uh, in my, uh, throughout my 38, 36 year career, is there any character you'd like to revisit again? And I've always said Billy Butcherson, because there was always some, there were layers uh, of him that I wanted to know more about uh, his history with the Sandersons and how they, how that all came to be. And so getting to do a sequel was like, oh, good. We get to see what happened back in the 1600s and we get to see, uh, and Billy gets to make the legacy uh, he carries right again. With 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 this, the help of Gilbert, of course, <laughs> Gilbert the Great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You guys, you guys have some great scenes together, and and for you, for you, Sam, like you must have been eight or nine when the original Hocus Pocus came out. Like, at what point in your life did you become aware of the film, and then when did you realize that, oh, you know what, this is this is a big deal? Uh, I I wasn't born yet because I'm only 19 years old. <laughs> <laughs> um, but See, you got that Benjamin <laughs> Buttons. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but I, I was uh, eight when the movie came out, and it was so uh, important to me then. You know, I, I, I love that. I was, I was eight. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as a fan of that movie, like growing up and like watching that movie so much, it, like Halloween for me is like you know, uh, apex holiday. So, uh, uh, focus, focus being a big part of that. Cause it's, 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 it's its own, I feel genre of movie where, you know, it's, it's a Halloween, like a true family Halloween comedy movie, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, that shaping how I view Halloween to get to be a part of that now, uh, is indescribable. And just tell me about, you know, the, the actresses behind the Sanderson sisters, Bette Midler and Sarah Jessica Parker. It's like such a vanity free performance for her as, as Sarah, the ditzy witch and <laughs> Kathy and Jimmy as well. Uh, Doug, why don't you start with why don't you start with Bette Midler? Because her Winnie gives you gives your Billy a bit of a hard time. Yeah, there's no there's no love between those two. Uh, it's rather apparent, uh, even though she claims there was once. Mm -mm. Uh, but, um, but no, but the working with Bette Midler uh, is uh, I was a slobbering fan of hers back in back when we did the first movie and I hadn't done much in my career yet. So I was I couldn't believe I was on this big movie set with her. Um, and I've been a fan of hers as a recording artist, as a as a movie actress, as a comedian, as a you know, she's on a stage presence. She did it all. So uh, getting to be her boyfriend from 300 years before is like, whoa, yeah. I scored. Uh, that's my real life. But of course, on film, it's like, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, amazing. Guys, we've run out of time. So we'll just, oh. we'll just assume that SJP and Kathy were amazing. They were obviously Absolutely. amazing. Oh, oh, no, uh, you guys, great, you guys are amazing. Thank you, you so are. much. Thank for you. The chat. Congratulations <laughs> on the film. Good luck with the Benjamin Buttons. And uh, thank you. Hope, hope oh. to see you in Australia soon.